Welcome back to the channel and good afternoon and it's a beautiful sunny day here. We have 34 degrees at the moment I believe yeah, in the United hot. Kingdom and it is a hot Saturday afternoon. We've got a few friends coming over this evening for a little bit of a barbecue and Susie might even do a stomp. Like, well, Race like us with a stomp later. Yes. Now, I promised some of our friends who uh, cast on the radio this week about monkfish. That is monkfish. That is what monkfish looks I'm like. I'm just going to hold that thought for a second. Are you? Why, who are you going to... Uh, can we play this song? Right, thank you. Oh. So I'm just getting my phone. Okay. Um, what monkfish is... This is monkfish, or ugly fish, as plum people call it. It's got it's a, with its head on it, it's quite an ugly looking fish. So, sorry. There you go. I it is, oh, that's scary. Don't do that. Right, and Don't this is monkfish, or the French call it lot. Do uh, they? Yeah, I mean, there's not a lot of bones in it. Uh, it's quite a meaty fish. Is that and fish? It's solid. It, is. it has an outer skin, which, like the, which the fishmonger has taken off, which is usually sort of like a grey colour. I can feel it there. This has still got a membrane skin on attached to it, which does need to be cleaned out. So what but are you it, do it's with got it? very little bones on it. It's all meat, really. So what are you going to do with it? Well, I'm just going to take it off the bone. Then what are you going to do with it? Then I'm going to be able to use it for some other needs. Because it's quite a meaty fish, as you said. It's, it's a, very similar to prawn and lobster as far as texture. Yeah, because you don't cook. That's quite expensive, that monkfish, isn't it? Yeah, monkfish is not cheap. Again, Any fish isn't cheap. No, cod isn't is, cheap. Yeah, it's expensive. Um, Stop it. It does tend to uh, be very pricey, but then again, you get a lot of wastage yeah, then, with it. Yeah, but then fish is ex nice though, isn't it? Mm -hmm. All food is expensive. And this came from our good friends at Costco, who uh, are, I do say they do seem to get good quality produce. And like we had the ribs there, and they were reasonable. I think we paid um, nineteen dollars for four baby back ribs. I went to a grocery store today, and we spent eight. I spent eighty-eight pounds. <laughs> I think I spent ninety, ninety-five. Oh, actually, more. No, because. Where did I go? I bought some more stuff. Well, we still might get told off. We haven't done our challenge yet, we don't. We need to do that maybe tomorrow. It's been so hot though. I'm actually going around Monday to your for your birthday, but maybe yeah. we've still got time. See, that's the bone. We've it's a lot of bone, isn't it? Well, that's it. There's not, there's not much to it really. It's got a very narrow rib cage and so forth, and it's do quite you firm. Use this for stock. Yeah, use it for stock. And uh, so, what are you going to do with that now? Uh, you can you, you can cut it into steaks, into smaller like sort of uh, yeah. rondelles, rondelles, or you can even cut it into uh, yeah, nice. goujons or chunky bits of fish Look, and so forth. And bread and bread got, got his uh, scary uh, tea towel over his head. When he gets his tea towel over his shoulder, he becomes Mr. Scary Chef. What do you mean he's a scary chef? Remember, he used to do catering back in the day. He used to put his tea towel on and he used to become Mr. Scary Chef. Yeah. 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 I will treat that yeah. with a contempt he deserves. And he used to walk around and stomp. He started the stomp. <laughs> Fair enough. So what you, we're going to freeze this for now, aren't we? We're going to freeze this because I'm going to do something with it next week with yeah. uh, lobster and monkfish for Rabbit. our friends Steiny and the guys on at Formula One. And I think we're going to do some paella or something fishy. Yeah. This is a very good fish for, for um, kebabs because it doesn't yeah, fall apart. Yeah, we've done that, haven't we? It doesn't fall apart and it's a solid, firm fish and it doesn't flake. So it's good for doing sort of with the scallops, shrimp and maybe monk and you we put call, on a skewer. We call shrimp, shrimp prawns here. Prawns. Right, so you're going to do that bit? Yeah, I'm going to do the same one. This is a slightly more small babier one. And we, you're only going to do some marinating in a bit? I'm going to do some marinating in a bit before I get some production done for some, bar some barbecue guests. for tonight on the pit. And I'm going to do some salady prep. All right then, so we'll see you later. We'll see you later. Ciao for now. Bye for now.